When men were all asleep, the snow came flying in large white flakes, falling on the city brown. Stealthily and perpetually settling and loosely lying, hushing the latest traffic of the drowsy town, deadening, muffling, stifling its murmurs, falling lazily and incisively, floating down and down. Silently sifting and veiling road, roof, and railing, hiding differences, making unevenness even into angles, and crevices softly drifting and sailing. All night it fell, and when four inches seven. It lay in the depths of its uncompacted lightness. The clouds blow off from high and frosty heaven, and all woke early for the unaccustomed brightness of the winter dawning. The strange, unheavenly glare. Marvelled at the dazzling whiteness. The air hearkened to the stillness of the Solomon ear. No sound of will, rumbling, nor of foot falling. And the busy morning cries came thin and spare. Then boys I heard. They went to school calling. They gathered up the crystal manna to freeze. Their tongues with tasting, their hands with snowballing, or rotted in a drift, plunging up to the knees, or peering up from under the white mosses, wonder. Oh, look at the trees! They cried. Oh, look at the trees! With lessons load, a few cars creak and blunder, following along the white deserted way. A country company long disappeared asunder. When not already the sun, in pale display, standing by pool's high doom, spread forth below. His sparkling beams, and awoke the stare of the day. For now, doors open, and war is waged with the snow, and the trains of subway men pass tail of number, thread long brown path. As towards their tail they go, but even for them, a well no cares in Cuba. Their minds diverted. The daily word is unspoken. The daily thoughts of labor and sorrow slumber at the sight of the beauty that greets them. For the charm, they have broken.